Yeah. Yeah, then uh, the church I go to is the reverse. Is the is reverse? Yeah. You got to go to a better church. Because <laughs> they're only there because they're like, we're gambling. I don't know about you guys. Might if we switch topics real quick? Sure. It sounds like you believe in a guy. Yes. Why? <laughs> My personal experience is extraordinary. Um, I've faced death. And I imagine least, we're talking about the Christian God? Yes. With the nomination? Seventh-day Adventist. Seventh-day Adventist? Seventh-day Adventist. That's cool. Seventh-day Adventist, please don't associate me with Ben Carson. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. I'm glad I caught you on the Sunday. <laughs> okay, cool. That's nice, nice, nice. Yeah. So where's where's the nearest church? What's the name of the church that you go to? Uh, Hillcrest Seventh-day Adventist Church. Is uh, here in Nashville? Yes. Uh, to, uh, near downtown, 25th and Clarksville. A lot of old people. A lot of old people. Nice and peaceful. Yes. It is the... <laughs> well, part of it... Well, no, but uh, we, I, when I say a lot of old people, I was, yeah. I was making a point. We do have a significant... Um, senior population, but we do have a young adult population yeah, as yeah, well. Yeah. It tends to be like otherwise, it wouldn't kids. be there. Our, yeah, our yeah. pastor is younger than me. Whoa, wow, yeah, look at that. Yeah. Okay. So, we are the oldest black Seventh day Adventist church in America. What do you so how confident are you that God exists? Like, say, like on I a am, scale from zero to 100, I am I am beyond confident because because of my personal encounter. You want to show me, like, on this, like, if this is like absolutely no way I could be wrong, I'm closed minded, I'm absolute. Versus, no way, I'm closed-minded, I'm absolute, there's no way that God exists. You mind showing me? And as we progress, I'm really hopeful what you love, So you're beyond closed-minded? I'm beyond closed-minded that there's anything other than God. You're beyond closed-minded? Yeah. God, is, God, exi God exists whether I would believe in it or not. Can I ask you a question? Sure. What made you so confident? How do you become so confident to justify that? It had... And it's a weird question, so I'm just going to say it again because I most likely will sure. get it. What method are you doing that justifies that high level of confidence? I'm the, I'm the kind of person that I have to have a personal experience with you in order for me to believe you. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a show me person, right? Nice. You know, you, you, you tell me you're the world's greatest arm wrestler, I'm going to put my hand on the thing and say, let's go. Okay. Right? Yeah. You, you got to beat me. And if right? I beat you, does that and, make you the best in the world? No, but it means that <laughs> it means that I'm open to believing it. <laughs> okay. Hey, it makes you more willing to believe it. Even if I can, if you have a personal experience Absolutely. that affirms it, it could still be wrong? It could still be wrong, but at least I, it will open my mind, right? If I have a personal experience that, that's, that, that affirmed my point of view, I could still be wrong. My personal opinion, my a personal experience that leads to an aff the, that affirms that could still be that, that it could be validated somewhere along the line. Yeah, right. Could, further down the line, it could. Further be. down the line, it could be. If it didn't, it, but I'm not ruling out that it could validate it for me at that moment. Are personal experiences 100% reliable? No, no, not always 100% reliable. What's justifying your over 100% level of confidence? So my personal experience, so I was diagnosed. We know it's personal. It can't be yeah. a personal experience because personal experiences aren't 100% reliable. Well, they're not 100% reliable, but they can serve. I just want to know what's justifying the 100%. Sure. I know that's a great story that you're about to tell me. No, 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 no. So well, where, where I am is my, my personal experience not only affirmed but validated where I am, okay? Now, does that mean that God exists in the greater stratosphere for everybody else? That's where the question really does, uh, starts to develop. It's like, just because I had what personal experience, could that be unique to me? You could, could be, be absolutely correct that this God exists. I'm just wondering what's justifying the 100% certainty if we could agree that a personal experience aren't 100% reliable. Because I'm validating it with, and this, and this is what Christianity is based on. I'm validating it with the experiences of others around me. Okay, group experience that validates the personal experience that I have. Okay, group experiences that confirms that. Is it possible to have a group experience that validates a personal belief and still be wrong about it? Absolutely, and that's where you've also got to, that, that's where you've also had to have some level of observation of people outside of your sphere of connection. Believe it or not, it's not a hard question that I'm asking. I'm just yeah. generally wondering, like, I'm 100% confident. I should expect a 100% reliable method. Can I show you an example? Sure. If I had a coin and I flip it, just come here. This is completely separate. Put it on the back of my hand. I don't know if it's heads or tails. Do you know if it's heads or tails? No. 
That might be the best answer because I'm aware that my options are 50-50. My confidence on whether it's heads is 50-50. My confidence on whether it's tails is 50-50 because at best, I can either be 50% confident either way. Well, here's I could be 100% confident based on a personal experience, but does it really change the odds of this coin flip? But you want to hear something crazy? Here's what you here's what you know beyond a shadow of a doubt. Talk to me. It's one or the other. It is 50-50. It's, it's, it's either going to be heads or it's going to be tails. Sure. Right? Would I be so, justified at 100% if I don't have any other way? Absolutely, you'd be justified at 100%. Tell we me about that. When, when am I doing to justify 100% in this coin flip? Where I, know I can, where I know the result will be 100% and we can demonstrate that to be true. Right. Is the foundation of Christianity is called faith. And Finally, we so, got to the faith. <laughs> so, because that took a while. <laughs> Because you can tell I'm tired. Because because <laughs> I can't prove I can't I can't prove to you that God saved me from cancer. Okay. But I was the one that was laying in the hospital bed room, a room on the edge of death when yeah. the doctors came in and said you don't have very long, and then they switched. Right. Cool. Yeah. But I'm also the one who has friends who have been through a similar experience, or that I've now seen somebody on TV. It took a while. Was a, right. Yeah. yeah. But here's the here's the deal. No, no. I have no, to believe. I have to believe in faith that that person that's on TV had the same experience that I had. If I'm going to put it in the pool right. of belief that I have that God exists 100. percent So we know personal experience is enough. Group experience is enough. You need to have faith. You've got to. If you don't have faith, you can't get to the guy. You can't. Personal experience is enough for that 100%. Group experience not enough to 100%. You need faith to get there. Absolutely. Can I ask you a question? Yes. What is faith? Well, the definition yeah. is... Uh, what does it mean to you? Well, faith is having the absolute belief in something or someone without having enough proof, without having enough scientific evidence to prove it beyond a shadow of a doubt. To prove it beyond a shadow of a doubt. Can I repeat that? Yeah. Having absolute belief in something without having enough proof, scientific proof, to sh to know that that is the case. Yes. I, I have something? I have faith that my son is not going to do all of his homework tonight. I'd also say you'd have a reasonable <laughs> expectation for that. But, but that's me, the thing. Can I can I have can I have if I flip that coin and I'm here? Yeah. Can I have faith that it's heads? Yes. Could I be wrong? Yes. Can I have faith that it's tails? Yes. And I could also be wrong? Yes. How does having faith change anything? Faith doesn't change the outcome. Faith establishes where you are no matter the outcome. Okay, fair enough. So I could have faith in something and be just wrong. Absolutely. What's justify? I would hope that you'd want to be correct with this God belief, right? If you're using faith to get there, and you can believe in things that, with faith in things that aren't true, and faith in things that are true, what's justifying the 100% certainty that you have faith in something that is true? Because you can have faith in things that aren't true. Absolutely. So what does it say about as a mechanism? Can I repeat this? Yeah. What does it say is as a, reli as a reliable way to know if something's true or not? If I could have faith in things that aren't true, what does that say about faith as a system to know so, if something's true or not? So you're actually, in my opinion, asking another question. Because it's faith, faith, reliable. Faith, faith, faith for me doesn't determine whether something is true or not. Oh, man. Then what are you doing to know that this is true, that this God is true? You told me you're here because you know it's true. You're confident that it's this true. What are you doing? What's the method that you're using? If so, it's not so, faith, so, so let's, and if it's not personal experience so or group experience, let's what's adjust going on? the syntax just a little bit, yeah. okay? Saying that I know that it's true and believing that it's true aren't always synonymous. I believe. I know. That, I don't, I don't doubt that, that, that you believe it. Now, do I know that? Do I know that there's God? Here we go back to your coin flip. Yeah. Do you know if I know? I, I know that either there's a God or there isn't. Okay. Right. Do you know? And you combine this. Yeah. In in my in, in my world, I know that there is God, based upon the things that we listed. Great. If I the, the, I don't attribute any. And you know it to hundred percent certainty. I believe it to hundred percent certainty. I believe everything to hundred percent because I can't. I either believe it or I don't believe it. Right. Right. But you're confident that the God's true. I am confident. And you're using you're hundred percent confident, like as in you're beyond closed minded. Yes. But you're using methods that aren't hundred percent reliable. Absolutely. Does that seem reasonable to you? Yes. You know why? Why? Because if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. What are the consequences of me being wrong? 
if there's no God and I die tomorrow, what's the consequence? I do. But if I'm but if I'm right and I die tomorrow, what's the consequence? So it's a gamble. No. It's not, it's Isn't not that a, literally a gamble? No, 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 no. <laughs> did you nah, just set that up as a wager? No, you set it up as a wager you by using by, 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 right. by utilizing the Would coin Would you like flip. to rephrase that? Would you like to rephrase that? <laughs> if I if I, I got nothing to lose, right? Isn't that what you just gave me the nothing to lose? No, 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 no. I didn't say I got nothing to lose. I, 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 what I, rephrase because, that for me then. Because, because if you live your, if you, there are certain things that you don't do because you believe you that there's a God. What because are the consequences? Of, yeah, right? because you believe that there's a God. Yeah. Then and there ends up being no God. Then like you shortchange yourself. Like an example, like stealing a cupcake or something like. That. Yeah. If all I want to do is fulfill myself, let's just say, you know, uh, let's say I want to go out and do something that's criminally. Steal wrong. a car. Steal a car. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And I really, really want to do that. Yeah. Right. But I don't do that because I believe that there's a God. Yeah. Right. And I believe He's watching me. I believe He's judging me. I believe that one day it will determine whether or not. I, yeah. Right. Does there being less crime or someone not stealing a car prove that a God exists? No, it does not prove that a God Man, exists. Man, then I'm still lost because I don't know what a 100% reliable way to know that a God exists. But that's a reliable way for me, not for you. Why, why, why not have a most reliable way that would convince everybody? Isn't this the most important question for you, whether or not this God exists? Or is there a more important question on whether or not a God exists or not? There's more important questions than that. There's because, more important questions because, than whether or not this God exists? For me. To you? For me. Give me an example. Um, is there absolute truth? That's more important to you than whether or not a God exists? Because because I already believe that God exists. That's why it's not a question for me. See, I'm not starting at ground zero. This is this this is over 48 years of experience. This is over 48 years of interaction. This is over 48 years of test and come back and test and come back. You're hundred percent confident that you're right. Right? 100% confident that you're correct. I'm 100% I'm 100% convinced that there are only two choices. He either exists or he doesn't. I agree. I'm also there too. But you also believe to absolute firm certainty that it's the one of the choices that it's the God that exists. Yes. Okay. And I do it in faith. And you do it in faith. Do you are you aware of what it would look like if you were wrong? Yes. What would it look like if you're wrong? Whatever it would look like to the people, because I won't, I won't be around. What would that look like? Can you? So you wouldn't be aware because you wouldn't be around. I wouldn't be aware. So I asked you the first question: If you would be aware what it looks like if you're wrong? I wouldn't wrong. be aware. So you don't know what it looks like if you're wrong. No, only the people, only, only the, only the people who would still be existing would yeah. know. Like, you know what? Carlin thought there was a guy. So in short, you wouldn't know. No, you aren't aware of what it would look like if you're wrong. If I am 100% certain that I'm right, but I have no idea what it would look like if I was wrong, is my 100% certainty that I'm right justified? It may not be justified, but it is validated. Interesting. I want you to think about that. That's cool? Yeah. Yeah? yeah? Because there's, in my mind, I can be open-minded and still believe in a God and have that be justified with like reasonable amount of evidence, but there's no value in being closed-minded, in my opinion. What do you think? I do believe that there is value in standing on your beliefs. I believe there's a tremendous amount of value. Can't you do that open-mindedly? Yes, you can, and sometimes, sometimes it can be a detriment. Is the biggest detriment to being open-minded that you might change your position? No. Or what's the isn't closed-mindedness a detriment in itself? Again, is it, it good it, to be the closed-minded? Is it good to be cl beyond closed-minded? It depends on what it is. Really? I'm close. I'm close. I'm close-minded on murder. Murder's wrong. Well, it's defined as illegal. It's the illegal killing of a person. Still, it's by definition illegal. But what if the rules were different? Then it wouldn't be illegal. And if it wasn't illegal, what would govern your actions to keep from killing someone? Uh, knowing that my consequences, it benefits me not to kill people. Well, but you started with the word consequences, and in that yeah, word, I, I don't want that, bad in, consequences on in me. that one. It wasn't that one of the words that I used. Was what would the consequences? But be I'm open-minded. If you can convince me otherwise, right? But in the meantime. In no, the, I'm still open-minded. Yeah, but like, in the but but in the meantime, show me a good case for murder. I'll be like, yeah, I'm for it. I'm never. I don't want to be closed-minded about anything. Right. Again, I'm not talking about 
killing under certain scenarios or what I'm talking about murder. Yeah, like I'm open to it in certain ex circumstances, absolutely. Despite the consequences. I'm open-minded to it. Generally, I have a position on it, but I'm open-minded if I'm wrong. See, here's what we have the experience of living this life in this open community that we have called the world. We see the consequences of our actions on a lot of things. Yeah. Right? By closed-minded people sometimes, too. By closed-minded people What's sometimes. What's the benefit of being closed-minded? What value is it? You can protect yourself in society on certain things. Certain things. See, you're generalizing and saying that, you know, closed-minded, and, and that's where we what, are today. What benefit gives you, what benefit does being closed-minded offer? If I, for instance, we were talking about God, right? We were talking about the existence of God, the belief that God, uh, you know, the governs from on high. If, if I believe that there's also a set of guidelines that he has given us to live by, i.e. the Ten Commandments or something like that. Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not commit adultery, shouldn't bear false witness against your neighbor. I'm aware of them. If I, if I, if I believe that there is a God and that those are guidelines that came from him and that there are consequences to the, and I'm close-minded to that there's another way to live without consequences coming from those actions, that can be a protection. Is it possible to not believe in a God and also not want to kill people? Absolutely. Why do you need to be closed-minded about God to not kill people? But I didn't say you need to be closed-minded. I also agree that you don't need to be closed-minded. Why are you beyond closed-minded? Be again, be <laughs> again, because of my because of my experiences. Okay, which we know are not one hundred percent reliable. Okay, because I can have personal experience with them. Okay, own. if you had Hattie B's yeah. hot chicken here in Nashville, and you said, "That's it. There's no better chicken in the world than Hattie B's hot chicken," yeah. and I am closed off to anything yeah, else other than Hattie that's B's, uninformed. right? Yeah, yeah. Well, well, right. But what if you've had Bolton's chicken and Prince's chicken, and then you've had some others, but you haven't had everybody's hot chicken. But you've had it. You've had enough to say, I don't need any more. Yeah, literally I'm good. Until I have everybody. I'm straight. I won't know either way. Right, but I'm but I'm good. I'm straight. But you also have the ability. You also again going back to your yeah your I can example. Tell you right now. No, it's a perfect example because I would say I'm good with this chicken. I'm open minded to the idea that there's better chicken out there, but I'm good here. Okay, I, 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 that's that's a slight adjustment to what to to what I'm saying. Yeah, right. Like, I this is the best chicken for me. Right, and I'm sure of it. But there might be better chicken out there. I'm at least open to it. I haven't tasted it, but and I'm again, here. So what you're, what you're doing, you're, you're buttressing what I was saying about personal versus collective, right? Uh, collective you thought, are beyond closed-minded. The but, the collective, but the collective thought is that there could be something other than God out there. Are you right? open to that? I am not. Then we're talking about the same thing. I want you to think about a method that at least would be 100% reliable to get to your confidence. And if you could tell me about that, I'd be open to it. But lacking that, but, why be 100%? But my my goal is not to convince anybody else that God exists. I would hope that your goal would be to be justified in your own beliefs. But I am justified in my beliefs. But you have to demonstrate that to other people to do that. But that's, that's where we differ. I don't have to demonstrate it to anybody else. I don't, I don't because, because we're talking about something that is personal here. Isn't justifying by definition, explaining why you're, you're justified? Because I can be justified in any belief if I just want to hold in my belief to myself. Yeah, but that if, if it didn't require faith could to I, do it, okay, fair if, if faith was not involved in the equation. Could I be justified that zero gods exist? Yes, absolutely. So if, hear me out, if that guy in that gray sweatshirt hears me saying, I'm justified that there are zero gods, and you're saying, I'm justified that my one specific God exists, how can that guy figure out which of us is right? OTF. It, it, Someone asked for it. Yeah. <laughs> His uh, only if he asks for that justification is it even something Say he asked worth for it. it. How can he tell which of us is right? Because I'm justified and you're justified in yours, but what can he do with that information? We wouldn't even go down that path because I would not come up against you and say, uh, I, he's asking Tyrone's us. wrong and I'm right. No, no, no. Like he's I would need him to ask Carlin, what is your experience with God? And I would tell him, here's what my experience is with God. And this is what proves to me that God exists. Cool. And now you, I'm now like, you, here my go, you, you gray sweater guy, guy no God. go have your own experience, right? And then come back to me and tell me, do you believe it, whether you believe in God or not? So, and I'm open-minded. So listen it's, to both stories absolutely. and come to his own decisions. Yeah. See, the problem here is, and here's the thing, we can't both be right. If I if I say there's no God and you say there is a God, right? Like, it's non-compatible. 
one of us, if I had that position, that there was no guy, and that's not my position. One of us would have to be right in that. I'm looking for what that guy is looking for, a reliable way to know who's right when they say that. Yes. Because you're not the first person to come here and say, I believe in this because I'm so stressed but out. Here's, here's, I've talked here's to here's atheists a, here's as well. A, here's, a, here's the difference. I just want a reliable way to get there. And if someone says, I'm 100% reliable, but none of my methods are 100% reliable, and here, it, it, it's the same problem that I get from both sides. Here's the beauty, here's the beauty of Christianity. It is not a one-way street. I do not have to sit here and prove that God exists. God has to prove to me that he exists and he's already I would done. like that. And so what that's why do? that's 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 why that's why I say if somebody comes to me, I would say this is what this is my experience, right? Yeah. You go have your own experience and come back to me and tell me, did God speak to you? Is did God touch you? Did God did God provide for you? Did you feel some level of revelation or experience? Tell me up. Is it possible to feel like you've been connected with a God and be wrong? No. So Hindus who have had spiritual connections yes. with Shiva, yes. Vishnu, they have connected with Hindu gods. They have connected with a deity. They've connected with their specific god. Yes. Like how you connected with your Seventh-day Adventist, they connected with their god of the Bhagavad Gita. Seventh-day Adventist was just a vehicle. God, God, God is God, whether I was Seventh-day Adventist, Baptist, or whatever. So, so, so God, 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 God is God, not because I'm Seventh Day Adventist. Seventh Day Adventist just happens to be the comfortable vehicle that I choose. So your God you know. may not exist at all. It may be the Muslim God, or it could be the Hindu God. You could be actually worshiping Shiva this whole time. God could be. God is a deity. If that's the case, why are you 100% certain about your own God? I'm certain that my I'm certain that my deity exists. Oh, so now we're on deity. deity God, right? God, God, and deity are synonymous with me. Interesting. Because I asked specifically what denomination, and I didn't get deity. I asked you what God, and you said Christian God. So I was like, we're talking about the Christian God. I, so are we not talking about the Christian God anymore? So God is God. Our concept of God is based on our finite brain. Could be flawed. Could be flawed. And we have a finite brain. And we have Yet a finite Yet you're beyond closed-minded that you're right. No, I'm beyond closed-minded that God exists. Deity exists? De the deity of God exists. Do you see how you're going? It's a little confusing for me. Yeah, the deity I'd of like God exists. I'd like for you exists. to think about this a little bit more. I can tell you I'm not absolutely convinced right now, but I am open-minded if you have a reliable way to reach that conclusion. And I'm more than happy to have that conversation with you. Feel free to take a card. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Thank you. All right. I really appreciate this. All right. Thank yeah? you. See you. All right. <laughs> cool. 40 minutes! Yeah, OTF is a hard one. It's really, really hard for me to put around. But like, by the time I do that, I'm just like... Oh, he left his phone! Sir! Sir, is this your phone? Thank you so much. You're welcome. Womp, 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 womp. OTF is my favorite. <laughs> You're welcome. I shouted it out. Okay. Maybe I think I'm going to just bring in a POV about the screen. Yeah, I'm fine. Uh, yeah, do you ever want, do you want to ever see?